It was here that the journey began. At Sana'a Airport in Yemen, two US-bound parcels containing explosives were first loaded onto planes. Following a tip-off, the packages were intercepted late on Thursday at airports in Dubai and Britain. Their destination was reported to be synagogues in Chicago. The foiled plot has brought yet more problems for Yemeni authorities, who have been criticized for not doing enough to curtail militant groups in the territory, an accusation the government strongly denies. Yemen reiterates its commitment towards the international community in fighting against terrorism. On Monday, the U.S. confirmed that alleged al-Qaeda bombmaker Hassan al-Assiri had emerged as the leading suspect. Initial investigations had led authorities to a female medical student who was held in Sana'a for 24 hours after being traced through a mobile phone number. Despite worldwide concern, U.S. President Barack Obama reassured the Middle East's poorest country of his support. We will continue to strengthen our cooperation with the Yemeni government to disrupt plotting by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and to destroy this al-Qaeda affiliate. We'll also continue our efforts to strengthen a more stable, secure and prosperous Yemen so that terrorist groups do not have the time and space they need to plan attacks from within its borders. International airports are on high alert and the UK and France have temporarily halted incoming freight from Yemen. Germany has ordered airports to turn back all direct and indirect flights from the country. With the eyes of the world now watching, Yemen will need to act fast to keep Western governments on its side.